Hi YouTube, I hope everybody's doing great. I came across this uh, really interesting product um, that I have been doing some research around and uh, finally went out and purchased it uh, from Walmart the other day. Um, and what this is, is basically a electrolyzed water generator. Um, it's basically a disinfectant and you actually create your own disinfectant on demand using this, uh, this device. Um, all in all you really need is salt and water and of course there's a third ingredient which is the electrical impulse that uh, goes through this uh, this bottle and makes the solution um, for being used as a disinfectant um, now this is a not a new concept it's not a new new product uh, it's been around and used in hospitals uh, for a while now um, in many hotels uh, they have uh, switched over and started to use this kind of a product as well uh, we all know, um, you know, bleach like products or, or other Lysol or other brands, you know, that sell, uh, disinfectants, uh, A, um, you know, eventually add up and become pricey. But more important, they contain a lot of harmful ingredients, uh, that you don't want to expose your family to. And so when I came across this product, I was really excited because, uh, you know, the ingredients are pretty harmless. And the idea of creating your own disinfectant uh, on demand was uh, very attractive to me. So let's look at the packaging on what this contains. Um, it's uh, by Bell and Howell, the one that I picked up, but I know that uh, there are many other brands uh, that sell this. I'm not sponsored by them, um, but you know, there, there are lots of other uh, brands and devices. Uh, there are more higher end, more expensive versions of this product. Um, but the one that I picked up, uh, like I said, was from Walmart and I think it cost me around $30, um, you know, when I got it. So it says here, it kills up to 99.9% .9 of the germs and bacteria and, um, it's compact and portable, uh, one touch operation. It obviously sterilizes and is easy to clean, just fill, charge and spray. And at any given time, you're going to be making around 300 milliliters of uh, disinfectant in using this product. So let's look at the packaging real quick. Um, that's what it says, you know, where you can use it, obviously disinfect your car, dis disinfect your car. Um, uh, you know, obviously in the, around the bathrooms and doorknobs and, you know, things that uh, you think there is a lot of, uh, um, uh, you know, exposure uh, to, to physical handling. Uh, so in the, in the, at the bottom here, it shows that it's uh, safe for kitchens, bathrooms, bedrooms, kids' playroom, doorknobs, and handles. Um, and the use is uh, something we are going to be opening up and, and taking a look at uh, as well. So that's what the packaging says. And I think there was uh, one place here, if I can um, get it to show nicely, it kills a number of uh, known bacteria and I think these are mostly bacteria, but viruses as well. Um, and so you can pause the video and read through it if you want. Uh, but, you know, I, I really like the idea of uh, something like this. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's uh, quickly unbox this device and actually see what it contains. So, okay. I see some kind of a foam like material in there. And it looks like there's some paperwork that's coming along with it. Let me take a quick look. Nope, there's nothing else. So that's the that's the box that it comes in. And it's all sealed in this foam packaging. Um, there is this instruction guide that comes with it. We'll take a look at this a little later. Um, but they seem to have done a good job of um, packaging this thing. It's really nicely sealed so you know it doesn't uh, get damaged in transportation and whatnot. Um, so on this side, I see there's the physical bottle itself. And on the other high, on the other side, we see that there is a cable. Uh, that it comes with. I'm assuming it's for the electrical portion of this and there is this uh, this spoon and I don't know if you can 
see it on the camera, but it says six gram standard concentration, 12 gram high concentration. Um, so I'm assuming this is what uh, you're gonna use to measure the salt that goes in. So we'll keep this aside. And then let's take a look at the bottle itself. Um, the bottle is, I was thinking it's glass, but actually it is plastic. Yeah, it is plastic. It's not, uh, it's not glass like I was assuming. Um, the body and the rest of it is obviously all made out of plastic. Um, and there is this uh, silicone like, uh, like tab, uh, which exposes the electrical input that you're going to, you know, to charge the water. And on the other hand, there is this power on off button and there is pretty much nothing else uh, in terms of controls. So on the bottom, it says electrolyzed water generator and uh, the product is made in China. Um, yeah, so that's that. The top here is like any other, um, you know, liquid dispenser. There is a spray setting on this and um, I believe there would be one more setting, which is the straight line. So it can actually spray in a straight line or you can, you know, which is the default uh, that's not gonna, um, you know, not dispense any, any liquid. So very, very typical. Um, so yeah, this is the main unit itself and we'll open it and take a look on what it uh, is all about. So here in the bottle, you know, this portion of it is just like any other dispensing bottle. There's nothing to really mention there. And then this part actually opens up uh, to expose what's inside. So, you know, it's obviously gonna be very easy to clean because it, you know, it comes out, um, comes apart like that and then at the bottom this is the business end of the product so here's where um, the electrical charge is uh, sent in and I'm not sure uh, what this contains I haven't uh, really got a clue on uh, I can see in there that there's some kind of a a green motherboard um, so obviously there's some electrical uh, unit, you know, in there, but that's about it that I can tell on just a, a cursory look at it. Okay, so the way we use this is actually um, put in water in here. But before we start uh, doing that, let's take a quick look at uh, the documentation that came with it. So you can pause the video and read through it if you if you like. Um, so there is obviously some safeguards um, and there is uh, just some general in, you know, instructions on how to use it. So those are, so 300 ml is obviously the max fill line, which automatically means that uh, you can only use that much uh, or make that much in, in one go and, uh, and not, not more than that. Um, and so here's the assembly and usage. So first, what you gotta do is attach the bottle uh, the base by twisting it clockwise, add one scoop of salt, um, and we'll try it out in a moment here. Uh, you're going to attach the spray nozzle, um, shake until the salt is dissolved, okay? So we put in the salt, which is six grams. I think uh, this thing is six gram, or it's gonna measure that much. Uh, not obviously a heap, but you know, flat right here. Um, okay, so, at the bottom it says loosen the nozzle slightly to avoid pressure buildup before plugging it in. Uh, so you're obviously not going to uh, tighten this up uh, all the way. Obviously at the bottom you need to tighten it, but you know you need to keep this loose a little bit. And then as you uh, turn it on, it takes eight minutes for the cycle uh, to complete and you have finished product. Uh, so that's pretty quick. Uh, so if you need it, you know, you add your salt and water, you run it, let it run for eight minutes and uh, you have instant solution to use as a disinfectant. Um, and then on this side, yeah, so fully tighten the spray nozzle, obviously, before using it. 
and you have missed a stream. And it says, once the disinfectant solution has been created, use it right away. Um, and you're not uh, supposed to store it um, because I think the potency of the solution uh, doesn't last very long. So every time you are going to need it, you, you know, make the solution, you use it. And then once you're done, uh, they're saying that uh, don't keep the solution in the bottle. Um, you're supposed to uh, discard any excess that you have. Uh, and next time when you need it again, you make a fresh batch. And I think the point of that is you, the product will probably last a lot longer. Obviously it's, um, you know, what, what the, the water that it makes, it's called a uh, sodium hypochlorite and it can be a little corrosive. So in order to increase the life of the, the main unit, uh, you're not supposed to use this as a storage uh, device. So you, you know, clean it out after you have used it and then just keep it aside. And every time you use it, you know, you go through that cycle. Okay, so let me now actually try and make a quick batch so we can see, you know, the use of the device. Okay, here we go. Okay, I think that's plenty tight. And I'm going to take uh, the salt that I have here. I think what they're saying is you use a heap of this thing. So that's six. Just to be sure. Okay, so that's six grams. And then all I gotta do is fill this up. So now all my salt has gone in and you can see it's in there. By the way, they do recommend that you use a regular table salt um, and not uh, you know any kind of other um, you know, rock salt or other kinds of um, salt. So just regular plain white salt. Um, that's what they're recommending. The other thing that they also said was you do not use um, hot water in here uh, to use tap water um, or, or, you know, not, not even distilled water. Um, so there must be a reason uh, or the chemistry that, that happens here. It requires regular, regular tap water, uh, which is good. Obviously, you don't want... Um, you know, dirty water in there. It needs to be clean water, uh, but just regular tap water it would do the trick. Uh, so that's what, what goes in. And then we have to fill this in up to this line of 300 ml. So I have uh, water here uh, that I'm gonna fill up all the way to 300 ml and then start the cycle. So there we go. Okay, I'm gonna stop right at it. It reaches 300 ml, okay? So that's uh, 300 ml right there. And then what I gotta do is close it. And I'm gonna give it a, give it a shake. So we want the, basically the, the salt to dissolve in the water and then you know, we start the the process after that. Okay, so that's uh, probably good enough. So I have this uh, power brick uh, here that I've already carted up. So to show you guys how this works. So let me just take this out. Um, and I can show you what the process looks like as you start the charging process. Um, so the physical charging, as we know, is going to take only eight minutes. So it's not a very long time. Um, and then I think what they also um, mentioned is don't seal the stop portion off completely. Because I think as it does the charging, there's some kind of a pressure that builds up. So I'm going to keep it a bit low, you know, up here. Uh, so I'm not... Um, I'm not, uh, you know, kind of sealing it all the way. So I'm just going to keep it that way. And as the process, the process builds up, it's going to do its thing. 
So here we go. We are going to now put this in. As you might have heard, there was a beep sound as soon as I uh, put that in. I, I think I'll need to press this button to start the process. Here we go. So now as I've started it, um, you can see that uh, there is some kind of a, a, a process that has uh, been started. Um, I see there's some kind of a, of, of, you know, a steam kind of thing uh, being produced. And uh, this basically goes on for eight minutes. So uh, it says in the manual that, you know, uh, the preset time is eight minutes. Uh, so once that uh, cycle has started, it's going to last for eight minutes. And uh, after the eight minutes have passed, the unit will beep five times and turn off automatically. Uh, you can manually turn the unit off by pressing the power button again. Obviously, we are not going to do that. So we want the cycle to finish. And then once you're done, you obviously disconnect it uh, from the power source. Uh, you switch this off, off obviously. And then uh, you're ready to make more disinfectant uh, for your purposes. So I will not, um, you know, have you watch this uh, for eight minutes, but but as you can see, it's definitely creating a a cloudish uh, type of a foam. Um, some you know some coloring is happening there, and and there is this light blue light that has that is glowing at the bottom. So it's actually a pretty cool looking thing to watch. But uh, like I said, I won't have you watch the whole thing. I will come back and uh, show you the rest of the process in a minute. Okay, so the cycle has been running for a few minutes. Um, so it's uh, probably going to start beeping five times uh, before the solution is ready for use. Um, but I wanted to mention a couple of things while we wait for this um, the cycle to finish. One is, um, you know, I think it's a, it's a good idea during COVID times to have something like this on hand. Um, you know, one of the applications that we have uh, considered this for is to actually use it, um, you know, to clean out any kind of uh, produce that we purchase. Um, you know, obviously you cannot spray Lysol on food articles such as vegetables or or, or fruits. Um, but, you know, in, in the research that I have been doing, it appears that it's uh, okay to use this um, and then once you have um, this, uh, you know, your produce is actually disinfected, you can then wash it uh, to take any remnants of uh, the sodium hypochlorite, which it is producing, um, to go away. And the other thing that I think is important to note also is that the potency of the, the liquid uh, that you're creating is going to last only for a limited period of time. So over time, it's just going to neutralize. And as you see there, the light has turned off and the cycle is now finished. And now I, I believe the unit is ready to, to use. But before we do that, uh, just to kind of finish my thought, um, you know, one is to use it for cleaning produce, which I don't know of any other option uh, with, other than just using soap and water to, to clean your produce. Uh, this is obviously far more convenient. And the other thing that I think is also uh, really attractive is, you know, if you have uh, young children around you, although they do state that it's not a solution uh, freshly made that you want to expose your kids to, because it, it is potent at the time uh, it's getting created. But if, if it comes in contact with skin, it's not going to, you know, it's probably going to create a little bit of an irritation, but it's not harmful uh, in that sense. Um, they also do mention here, uh, that do not, um, you know, expose it to leather or other such things because it might, you know, because of its corrosive properties, it might actually, um, you know, discolor it or things like that, you know, on fabric, leather, carpet, uh, and as well as wood floors, it says here in the safeguards. Uh, so I wanted to made, make a mention of that. Uh, and then, you know, if you have a nursery where you have uh, young kids, um, you know, I think this is a much safer uh, produce to use. Our product to use um, to disinfect uh, the general area. Um, I also saw a very interesting video around this uh, product, not this particular one, but the general idea of this product uh, that, you know, uh, many hotels that have uh, started to now adopt this as their primary disinfectant. People who actually do the cleaning of the hotels are actually reporting, um, you know, that the, their general experience 
um, and the irritation that they used to have uh, with the regular chemicals. Um, you know, this is much nicer. They don't uh, feel the irritation in their eyes or their skin as much as they used to. And this is so this is, you know, feedback from people who have actually been using it. So anyway, I wanted to make a couple of those comments so you so you guys are aware. So as I have taken this out, uh, the, the solution is ready for use. So all I'm going to do is, um, you know, obviously tighten this because I did not tighten it um, earlier based on their instructions. So with this all tightened and this thing twisted so I can get a spray, I'm going to do it uh, right here within this foam. Um, you know, obviously there's nothing much to see, but you know, as I touch it, it's not necessarily any different from water, really. I, it feels water, you know. So um, the, the feel of it and everything is not very different from what you would expect. There are a lot of bubbles in there. Um, I'm assuming that's part of the, the process. Uh, or that's a way to say, see whether the liquid is, uh, you know, still potent or not. That might be an indication. I'm not sure. I'll have to do more research on that. But I think the, mu the bubbles might be a good uh, giveaway, you know. So if it becomes all flat, just like soda, it's probably not good to use. But uh, like I said earlier, uh, you, it's, it's an on-demand disinfectant creator. So once you have generated this, you go around using it around your home. And then once you're done, whatever is left here, you simply discard it and wash this you know, whole unit out and um, it's ready for use the next time. Um, so I hope you appreciated this video. You liked the content. If you did like it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I put out video uh, videos like this uh, from time to time. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe out there, guys. Bye-bye.